Welcome to Behind the Velvet Ropes. This is my car, and Handsome Johnny is my driver. Today, we are traveling in style. So stay tuned, because it's going to be a stylish show. today because Johnny is taking me to our first stop, Dollmaker Mel Odom. So let's go. Can you open the door? Thank you. <laughs> Johnny, this is like a fabulous car. So like, what's the story with it? Tell me about it. Um, it's a 1965 Silver Cloud Rolls Royce, and it's available. It's um, available. Like, I need this, and I need... Do you come with it? Sure. Now, I'm loving this little flower. Is this just specially for me? Yeah. So sweet. I love a man who gives me flowers. So, do you like dolls? Dolls? And I don't mean girls. I mean, I don't mean... I mean, like, chicks. I mean, do you like dolls, like toys? Um... Somewhat. Somewhat. All right. Well, anyway, because we're going to see Mel Odom who makes the jean doll. Okay. And he's pretty famous. You have to see some of the outfits that the jean doll has. Pretty amazing. Thank you. I'm waiting for the full effect. Okay, Mel, where are you? Can't show you the apartment number. It's top secret. Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm Lauren. Hi, Lauren. I'm Charlie. So where's Mel? He's still signing his heart out at FAO. Signing books, dolls, books, whatever. Dolls, F A O shorts. Sweatshirts, arms. Well, he's rooms. working it. He's been doing it all. Well, come in. We're gonna peek around before he gets okay. here. So. Ooh, this would be Jean. This would be one Jean. This is the jean doll. This is what Mel is famous for. Pretty, stylish. Love the hair, love the dress, love the pearls, love the makeup. Hey. Morning. Gorgeous. How are you? Freezing. Freezing? But, but otherwise fine. Sit with me. You got it. Do some talking. Okay, sure. I know that you were just at FAO Schwartz yeah. signing autographs and selling your dolls, which one of my girlfriends called me up and she said, you have to tell him to hold me one. <laughs> I wish, I and wish. I didn't even get one. Literally, I did not get one of these dolls. They sold them out. So it was like the first edition. It was the very first 200 of the first doll of this year's line. So tell me about this doll. I know that it's basically, it's based on the 40s, and 50s, glamour, right. 40s and 50s glamorous movie stars. Right, right. It is a composite of a number of my favorite actresses from that period. When I thought of the idea, I thought, you know, nobody has ever done a movie star doll. Barbie has run for president, she has been an astronaut, but they never made her a movie star. So I got the idea of creating this fictional movie star. All of her movie titles are fictional. The studio, monolithic studio she's with, all of it is made up. Every doll and every costume comes with a piece of her biography. What movie she wore this costume in, what award show this evening gown she wore to. So it's very cool. You get like a little bio. As you, as you build your collection, you learn more and more about Jean Marshall. I wanted it to represent an entire generation of actors. You know, that entire era of this, you know, sultry, beautiful, kind of American. Where is that glamour now for real women and real Hollywood? We don't have that now. I want glamour. Well, it's why I think this doll is so successful right now. We have people come in here who say, I would love to dress like that. Jean sort of becomes their fashion self. Now, you work with lots of interesting 
designers. Oh, yeah. Tim Kennedy, who does the lion's share of jeans fashions, has been one of my best friends since college. Mm -hmm. He does real fashion for real people. Okay, show me what, what some of these would... This one is my favorite. This show one, this, doll. this is um, Bird of show. Paradise, and this was designed by another friend of mine, William Ivy Long, who is a very famous, very successful Broadway designer. Midnight Romance, Romance that's by Tim Alberts. Tim Alberts' specialty was really closed from the 50s. That was the period that he specialized in. Tim Kennedy did this. It was my favorite witch. Um, it was the souvenir doll from the second annual Jean convention. Mandarin Mood. Another Tim Kennedy design. This was a at-home look for Jean um, in the 40s when the China influence was so prevalent in fashion and furnishings. You must have watched every movie growing up as a kid. I sat in front of the TV probably way too many hours and looked at every movie that would come along. And when I was real little, I didn't realize it was another time. I just thought it was another place mm -hmm. where everybody dressed better and had better houses. And I always wanted to live there. And you, I, I know, didn't we all? So, yeah. Now, where is Tim? Tim's hiding in the back. Timmy, come, here. come in here. Come out. Here comes Hello. Tim Kennedy Hello. with his latest triumph, Song of Spain. Look Woo. at that. Yeah. Well, you see. Little Toreador pants. And flips inside out and becomes her red set Matagors cape. That isn't that brilliant. How brilliant is isn't that? Isn't that brilliant? I have something for you. You do? Yes, I have a jean doll for you. Your you very do. own. Your starter I set. This is the special edition of Pinna. One of my two favorite dolls we've ever produced. She's gorgeous. She's in a black teddy. Ooh. And um and a very uh, ooh, let's pull that up. <laughs> a black teddy and a pinoir. This is how I walk around my house. Well, I so knew it. I knew it. I knew this was a, probably an outfit. You had exactly the same thing, and you could probably relate to it very well. So I want to show you something else about this. It's so cool. This little bolero slips off, and it's just this charming little um, top under it, this little scanning. And then you add this back, and you've got yourself an evening gown here. Wow. Isn't that cool? Little bare midriff evening gown. Very cool. Yeah, I think so too. I love this doll. We did this. We, in fact, this doll got nominated for an award yesterday. Which award? Um, it's the Doty. The Doty, the Doll of the Year award. Wow. Well, listen. By one of the doll magazines. Break a leg. Thank I you. hope you win it. Thank and you. thank you. Thank you, honey. Thank you. Love her. I got my Jean doll. Now we're headed up to Fifth Avenue and Asprey by appointment to Her Majesty the Queen. You'll find out what I mean. Hello. So, Johnny, are you having fun? Yeah, it's been pretty good so far. So we're going to Fifth Avenue. Do you like Fifth Avenue? Yeah, it's very exciting. <laughs> it's very glamorous, too. You've got to have a lot of money to shop on Fifth Avenue. Yes, you do. Pricey. Thank you. We're here, Asprey. Look, by appointment. Ooh, I'm so excited. I see diamonds, jewelry. Where's Colleen? Hey. hey. How are you? How are you? What are you wearing? Uh, this is our Daisy Signature Collection. It's available in various colored stones, blue topaz and diamond. It is, without a doubt, Asprey and Gerard's um, most famous signature collection. What does it mean when you say appointment to Her Majesty? Does that mean like that you make things specifically for her? Yes, we have um, a long heritage dating back to the 1700s. We do service the royal family. So they like buy things from you. They have things specifically made for right. for them. So you did the Titanic necklace, yes. uh, the authentic version, which was over 170 carats of diamonds. Um, we produced a prop for the film, mm -hmm. and then subsequently designed one, an authentic one, to be auctioned for uh, the Princess Ball, which was in honor of obviously um, her late Princess of Wales. Well, that, that's my speed. You know, I'm Titanic kind of girl. So give me the tour <laughs> because I really you do everything. There's luggage here. Uh, you have silver. Right. It's really what one would say is a gift emporium. It's probably New York's uh, best kept secret. The English are very quirky. They have a sense of humor, do they not? Now this is wacky. A fire hydrant cocktail shaker. This is for a a baby, spoiled baby. Silver spoon. We recently uh, were one of the sponsors for Ferrari, uh, the Grand Prix, and as a result, there's been an inspiration to create um, one tenth scale model of a Ferrari car. Um, these cars retail in the price range of seventy-five thousand dollars up for that collector. 
And also what we have also created, which we do extremely well with, is um, the various sterling silver animal collections, which can be used on a table or for ornament decoration purposes. Did I just say we were dog crazy? Look. Oh. This is um, an choice. alligator pet carrier, um, oh. which is designed, I mean, $19,000. $19,000? But of course, it has a lining which can be removed and washable. Um, it comes with a cashmere blanket, which is an Aspring and Garrard corporate plaid, and a stainless steel dog bowl. This is illegal, you know, you shouldn't be selling this. Gambling is illegal, Colleen. Did you know that? Tic tac toe. Now, that's a nice way to play it. I play it with a tacky pen and a cheesy piece of paper. That's much more stylish. How about an alligator, a jewel box? It's uh, $32,000. This, for me, would not be a jewel box. Excuse me. This would be a makeup case. Thank you very much. Wallets for the money that you don't have because you spent it all at Asprey. Can you have desk sets, picture frames? So we're in the penthouse now. We're in the penthouse. We're, we're in the, the penthouse. penthouse. Yes. And what are we seeing here? Uh, we have just recently created a fine jewelry salon on the upper level of our Fifth Avenue store location, offering that European service where one can sit and view collections and really have some privacy. We're very discreet and we really maintain silence in terms of our international clients and celebrity clients. So you won't say who's buying who and how much they spend? No, absolutely not. Good. Well, I mean, do I put Chinese food on this? Of you do. I can. Of you do. Oh well, if you Isn't say that what so. It's all about in the '90s, of course. What could be more English than afternoon tea? And we have designed um, a tea service for children as well. Of course, brother of pearl caviar service. Oh, nothing else would do. Nice catalog. So a lot of the things that you make here, you could just, if you have the catalog, you can order them. Colleen, thank you for this wonderful tour. And I am placing my order for sterling silver, dumbbells, and a skip rope for just under $10,000. So charge it to my house account. Okay. Thank you. Thanks Bye. Lauren, thanks for visiting. Bye. Ciao. It's my new home away from home. Now we're going to head off to Bryant Park to see a couple of fashion shows. Thank you. We're very polite. So, I'll be back in about an hour. Okay. Don't get lost now. Don't forget about me. Hello. You all looking good today? Jefferson and Daly. And who are you? You're, you're what? What? The media center? He's with the media center, but he's really quiet. You gotta speak up when it's about media, like me. Right. Hennessy, no, the Hennessy Lounge. What's going on in here? Hey, anything going on yet? And we, wait, we can't go into their private party? I didn't say that. Oh, all right, let's go. We're going behind the velvet ropes to a GM party. Do I get a free car? I don't see a party in here. They're, no, it's okay, they're, fine. Fine. they're coming. Oh, are you a GM? Yeah. I need like a free car. They're like laughing at me. I'm like serious. We, we get asked for that all the time. And do you ever give any away? No. Oh, my favorite security man. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Yeah. My other favorite security man. Hey, security man. He's like my third favorite security man. It's only because I saw the other no, two on, first. On. But I, just, I told you last year I won the lotto. I lost all my money. I told you, forget it. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. It's like very mellow. I just came upon two very cute guys. You must be models. No, wise guys, okay? No, they model and they're wise guys too. What's your name? Brett. Scott. Now, have you already had your hair and makeup done? Yeah. yeah. So that's easy for that's you. That's why we look beautiful now. That's why you can recognize us as <laughs> models now. And like really modest too. <laughs> okay, we gotta find Joseph. This is hair and makeup. They don't really need too much, you know? What are you doing today? Joseph? No, I know, like, duh, like, I know that. Like, I mean, what are you doing with the hair? Oh, the hair. God. People are giving uh, me a hard time today. 
I forgot what day it was. It's Saturday, it's Saturday. girl. Oh, then this is Joseph the Boozer. There right. we go. Okay, so today we're doing not too edgy, just comfortable hair for today. Oh, here's a famous model. I see your face everywhere. So you're getting like done. Is geisha style? Geisha? Actually, yes, this like is my Japanese. geisha look. Very yeah. cool. So you're on every runway. So what do you love about Joseph? Comfortable. It's comfortable. Very comfortable, very like, you know, just um, classic done in modern style. Okay. The pressure is on. I'm sitting with Joseph Aboud, one of my favorite male designers. And this is actually the first season I've ever covered you. It's amazing after all these years, but I I'm know, so but happy you're here. Well, thank you. Now, how many collections is this? You know, it's interesting. This is actually the 10th year of our label, the 10th year of business. And uh, so it's a big year for us and a pretty exciting year. And lots of great things are happening. This is such an important season because we're showing men's, women's, all of our furs and shirlings and lots of great different kinds of things where you really get a sense of the world of Joseph Aboud. How do you feel about that? Because this is one of the very first seasons where men and women are being shown together on the same runway. It's great. Why did it take so long? I think it's kind of a great idea. You know what? It's great for the men in the audience. It's great for the women in the audience. And the interaction of the clothes is really, I think, very dynamic. So what are you doing for Fall 99? Because that's what we're seeing. Right, we're looking at Fall 99. To me, it really is the last collection of the 20th century, if you think about it. And I really thought it was important to show the natural elements of the last 100 years. As opposed to going techno, we really went with very natural, almost kind of a retro feel to fabric. But very simple modern silhouette, very monotone, but lots of texture. Fern Ballas. Hey, get off the phone, girl. Just a bit of Lauren. Come on. She's okay. keeping you. me waiting. I hate that. I hate that. But was that Calvin or Donna? I'll never tell. <laughs> Come here. Everybody gets a fabulous bag. Not everybody. Just the members of the media and the press who cover the shows. We don't have enough bags to give every single person. Well, I better get mine now. I want a good one. Can I pick my color? No, no, See, he's picking that color. Look at this. Not bad, three. Seventh on six. Kipling has given those to us. I love Kipling. For the press. What's in here? Style Channel, my network. Right. My show is on style. We're ready to hear uh, CD, which is great runway music. Cookies. Cookies. When you get really hungry during showtime. T-shirt from Hennessy, so spontaneous. I love Hennessy. The Excite hat is because we're going to be doing a big event with Excite. Called Seventh Online. Whoa. Okay. I'm ready. Thank you for analysis. Thank you. Bye. Oh, a police woman. You having fun today? She's having a good time. Do you ever get to see any fashion shows? You want to? No. No? Why not? Not into it. Look at all this heating, electricity. Good exercise today. I'm sitting with up and coming, or actually here, you're here, <laughs> designer Gabriella Carlson. Like, I've known you for how long? Not like enough. No, oh, excuse <laughs> me, like 15 years? Yes. 20 years? Yes. And Let me go back. A long way. And I remember you were showing your very first collection in your apartment. Yes. Okay? And you've come a long way. We're at Bryant Park in the avenue. What's happening? It just became time to step out and lay claim. Mm -hmm. It's like there comes a point where you have to tell it mm -hmm. and take it. 
So, how many other crews? Am I the first well, camera crew you've ever... Absolutely, you know, and if you like, I'll take you through some of the outfits. That okay, let's go. Ready to let's go. Okay, let's go. <laughs> lead the way, lead the way, go ahead. Love okay. it. Now, what are you doing with hair and makeup today? What's that going to well, be about? Well, I'm going to let you go ahead and chat with them yourself and get a feeding of what all they're up to. Okay, well, we're going to go, like, you know, scope that out. So go back to work, honey. Thank Just you go very do much. something. No, right. Pretend you're busy. You know. <laughs> Who's in charge of hair here? Now, what's happening with hair today? It's going to be super. It's gonna, it's gonna be super. Oh god, I'm not. I don't. I don't get used to it by the camera. Well, you better get used to it because you know what? He's not stopping to roll until I get an answer. Yeah, um, so what do you mean super? Like long, short, straight, curly? What are you gonna do? I saw lots of uh, lots of girls who got long hair, mm. and I like to give it little points. All right. Well, yeah. go be super. Yeah. Super. We're gonna talk to makeup now. Hey, Kevin. How are you? I'm the escort. Oh, the, they need an escort? Like it's so complicated? They needed him to go this far. <laughs> the other half. Welcome to the other side. Thank you. All right. Welcome. Who's in charge of makeup here? You're in charge of makeup. All right, what's happening? We're going to do like a sexy eye and keep the skin translucent and warm. You like getting your makeup done? Oh, yeah. I love it. Um, I see a lot of earth shapes. I see like earthy tones, yeah. like steel gray and kind of bronzy brown. We're You're sort of big on those colors a little bit, but our own version of them. Mm -hmm. We've done the gray things, but it's sort of like in very irreverent animal velvets. Mm -hmm. And we've done the bronze thing, but we've really we played with it. After doing my last show, models would come down to the studio long after we'd closed the casting. We'd have so much fun dressing them, and then I would see them on the runway, and they would be the most serious people I'd ever met. And they need to afterwards, have some fun, afterwards I asked them what happened, and they said, Well, you all didn't tell us love. So we've told people that wearing our clothes is really meant to be, it's not fun. about poor, it is about living. Have a good time. Yeah. I see a lot of sheer also. Very, you're playing with lots of like fabric mixing. Yeah, I love fabric mixing. It's my favorite thing. Now we're going to head downtown to El Flamingo for a Michael O'Brien, Holly Brubeck, girlfriend book party. So let's go. Where is Johnny? I really hate when my Rolls Royce is not in front waiting for me. Assistant Tom, can you go find him? Thank you very much. OK? Because heads are going to roll. Here he is. I thought you forgot all about me. El Flamingo, please. Well, we're here for the party. Now, I'm going to be late, so just don't go anywhere, OK? I'll find the party first. OK. El Flamingo. Very festive. Hello. Hello. I'm Lauren, and I'm on the list, am I not? Behind the velvet ropes? Yes, you are on the list. Thank you. OK, see you later, guys. <laughs> Hennessy Cognac threw this soiree to celebrate the soon-to-be-released book Girlfriend, Men, Women, and Drag by photographer Michael O'Brien and 
author Holly Brubeck. Girlfriend captures the beauty, glamour, and style of today's modern drag queen. What kind of music are we going to be listening to tonight? Oh boy, I don't know. Let me think. What should I play tonight? I know. Something cheesy. <laughs> You're not serious. Okay. Yeah, cheesy disco, cheesy, campy, drag queeny. Why did Hennessy decide to sponsor this party for this book specifically? It's pretty like edgy. Yeah, well, that's where we like to think about Hennessy. Um, we're really trying to, you know, get into the New York scene. Um, we are a part of the New York scene, and we really want to acknowledge the great work of people like Michael. So tell me, why did you get together with Holly to write this book? Well, I had read an article that Holly wrote in the New Yorker about. Suzanne Barch, and I've been photographing a lot of people in the drag world, and I thought if I could do a book with Holly and approach it exactly the same way, because I don't like the kind of books where you feel they're crying through the makeup, or the ones where it's so fabulous and there's no objectivity, and Holly's writing is like that, so it seemed like it was a really good combination for us to do it together. Where is the book anyway? Do you have a copy? I knew you were going to ask that. No books needless to at say, a book party. Needless to say, the book will be out in April, and because Hennessy and Logan Delau wanted to do something. The fashion week is the time to do it, and I feel it's close enough people will remember it, but it's not going to be the stores till April. Tell me about your outfit. My outfit's just a little something I sewed together on the way down. I have to say, I am coveting your dress. Because Thank you, dear. This is so amazing. Can I borrow that from you? No. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> to stand tall when I'm next to Lavinia. I'm, I'm loving your outfit. How are you? Oh, this is my umbrella dress. It's umbrellas. Lots of umbrellas. Of course, I can dance with the umbrellas and dance with the schmucker, you know, this way and that way. Why do you think now that drag seems to be very mainstream? I mean, you know, RuPaul. I mean, RuPaul, didn't you dress her ever? You dressed Ru. We did, absolutely. We loved dressing him years ago. And we did a lot for uh, Lip Sync Up. We're all about getting dressed up and going out, and that's what, what drag queens do, is get dressed up and go out. So, Project, are you going to take my picture tonight? Uh, every night, don't I? <laughs> you do, but it never appears anywhere. What's up with that? We'll have to have a talk with my editors, I guess. Ooh, OK, take my picture. All right. So, what's it like Now being... you know why you don't get in. No. <laughs> That's like vicious. No, I'm just having funny. Very cool party. I guess it's time to go home. Boo hoo. So let's go find my Rolls Royce and my driver, Johnny. What a great show. I want to thank all you people for watching BTVR. I want to thank Hennessy Cognac for sponsoring me. And I want to thank Manhattan Motors for allowing me to drive in their fabulous car and their fabulous driver, Johnny. See you next week.